Hi, Dustin Vanoy here. In this video, we'll take a look at creating an Azure service principle from the Azure portal. One of the reasons to create these is for things like authenticating from Azure DevOps pipelines. In this case, we'll be trying to assign permissions to create tokens, which we'll use with Azure Databricks. From the portal, select the Azure Active Directory service, and then click on App Registration, and then New Registration. We'll need a name for our application. I will call mine SP Azure Databricks Demo. This example will stick with the default settings and click register. Once the service principle is created, click on certificates and secrets, and you'll probably want to add a client secret or certificate that you can use to log in. In this case, I've already created one and copied the value that it gave me. And the next step to test it out requires us to have access to another Azure resource. In this case, I really want to just use this with Azure Databricks. So I can come to my Databricks workspace, the access control screen, and add access for my service principal. In this case, I'll choose the reader role, and I will look for my service principal name because I started it with SP, and add that and click save. To use your service principal to log in with AZ Login, you need to pass the service principal GUID, which is going to be called the client ID or application ID in the overview screen of your service principal. The service principal secret is what we just created in the certificates and secrets section. And the tenant GUID is going to be called either the directory ID or the tenant ID. Once you pass correct values there, you can log in and start to use this service principal to do other things with the command line or use that, lo that cached login token to use the REST API. That concludes this walkthrough. And there's a variety of ways to use service principles, but hopefully this helped get one set up and registered with Databricks. You can find more content at my website and at my YouTube channel. Thank you.